All right, fire signs. Hello and welcome. Today we are going to do a collective reading for fire signs. The intent behind the reading is timeless. So when you meet it, it might be, it may resonate or it may just be entertaining. So we're going to start with um, astrological sun, moon, and rising for all different fire signs would be relevant. <clears throat> And like I said, it's a timeless reading. So if you've found it today, perhaps it's relevant, relevant today. All right, fire signs. What are we looking at for fire signs? We're going to use the Magician's Tarot. And we're going to use the regular spread. Where we will be looking at current energy on the table the foundation how we've created this into our life because we're all responsible for our own creations any energy outside of ourselves that we should be aware of blind spot anything we may be missing but need to recognize or will be brought to our attention advice from spirit Three cards that I break down to one sentence, and should you follow said advice, this is the timeline that would subsequently follow. It's the only way that we can come up with a timeline because decisions are fluid and your future changes moment by moment. So, Seven of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, measuring, having a look at things, thinking how much have I put in as opposed to how much have I received back regardless of how it resonates. It's a collective reading, so I try to speak as broadly as possible. The bottom of the deck, so you can understand the way I read, refers to the energy, the temperature in the air of the room, the energy around us, the way that the world is greeting us, if you will. With the Seven of Pentacles, it's like things are moving along, but not at the pace that we'd like, and we're starting to reflect as to why, 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 why. It's like the, you know, when you got a little kid and they ask why. So it's that energy. How much have I put in? Like that type of thing. But it's the 11th hour before you have that breakthrough. So generally the message is don't give up. Persevere. Keep going. Keep moving forward with whatever you're working towards. So let's look at the current energies. The world card. The strength card. And the Knight of Pentacles. I really like this energy. Um, I can see why for fire signs you may be getting a little impatient. This is closing out major cycles. Old cycles. The world card is the last card. Wow. It's the beginning of a new journey. We hit the world card. It closes out that cycle of the major arcana but then the major arcana begins again with the fool which starts that's why the fool is the zero card because he doesn't really have a place it's just the new beginning and it, it never stops there's never a start or a finish really as much as it's a constant process you are completing a loop we'll say so you're Closing one aspect or one way of life out and entering into another one. It's a big change, especially with the strength card. This is because you're recognizing something within yourself, stepping up in that direction in a beneficial way, especially for yourself. Because the Knight of Pentacles, you're showing patience. And I smile because you're a fire sign. You don't show patience very well, but you're showing patience. You're allowing patience to shine through. Which, like I say, for a fire sign, hats off. Because normally you're like, you know, pedal to the floor. So this is actually restricting or reserving oneself, moving forward at a patient measured speed. Because you understand something. You've learned something. I don't get it yet, but you've learned something. Let's have a look. See if we can figure that one out. The Hierophant. The King of Cups and the Lovers. Okay. You've learned how you feel. 
at a much deeper level. Actually, this this Hierophant card represents teaching more than most. Um, normally, it's a pope. It's a religious leader or a leader, a spiritual leader, a leader in some sense in the community that is bestowing his wisdom upon others. Or it's a larger group which would hold a bigger significance, if you will, more, um, I don't know how to explain that, and it's being accepted into it. What I get in your reading more than anything is you're accepting yourself into your own group. You've figured it out. The Hierophant over the last little while for my readings, I've read it in a kind of a different way. The Hierophant has referred to that box of belief or that interior process that we go through as as people when we grow up the way we see the world we're a sponge we take it all in and then reality is that that's how we move through through life with that as your foundation that's your basis things that are in alignment with that truth your personal truth will be attracted to you and they'll fortify it if you will so what this is really is understood really understanding yourself at a deeper level because with the higher event you're able to attract what you're supposed to attract because you're understanding yourself at a deeper level with this king of cups and then we have the lover's card the lover's card is where and where i'm gonna take it it, it can be about partnerships it can be about outward partnerships we may have attracted a relationship and a strong powerful one if that's the case on the other side of that coin, it's where logic and logic and um, creativity meet. And if we can f stay on that delicate balance, we get out of our own way. And then we're led by coincidence, by intuition, by all of these things. And I think that's more what's going on, saying that the energy that this card is supporting is that Knight of Pentacles, especially for a fire sign. Because the strength is being supported by the King of Cups. This deeper understanding of how you feel or how you tick or how you work. It's an understanding of self. That's what you've learned with this strength card. That's amazing. I really, really like that. All right. Any energy outside of ourself, we should be aware of. How this works is it's a mini three card reading of the energies outside of us that we should be aware of. So... We come in with past or what they're coming in with. Then we have the center energy, which is now. And then we have where it's leading. Just, just stay away from this energy. I'm going to say that straight up. This energy just wants trouble. Um, seven of Swords. Something's being hidden. First off. Something is not. Out in uh, something is being hidden, and and this energy or individual is closed off. Seven of Swords, hiding things or lying outright. Take it as it resonates. As I said, Queen of Swords, this is completely being closed off. And what is the intent moving forward? The Five of Wands. So it's conflict. Let's start trouble. This looks like a pot stirrer. You know what a pot stirrer is? It's the person that sits in the corner and just says those little things that gets everybody else aggravated and fighting with each other. That's looks it looks like. It looks like that a pot stirrer, you know? Um I'd stay away from this energy if at all possible. Yeah, that let's leave that energy right there and move forward to your blind spot. Queen of Pentacles. All right. Nine of Pentacles. And the five of cups. Okay. The, the disappointment that you're the, the blah, blah, dwelling back to. I say back to because you don't have disappointments in the future. Well, you might have disappointments in the future, but you don't know about them yet. So you can't be disappointed yet. So five of cups. Um, dwelling on negative things. is not uh, dwelling on the losses. Dwelling on the things that we've. We don't have dwelling on the, the reasons we're not happy is what's keeping you away from the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, because 
what I'm looking at is we already have this energy with what you are showing over here. You just don't see it in yourself yet fully. I mean, the strength card's great and we're moving towards that energy, but this is actually a progression because we go from the night to the unknown, the blind spot to the queen of pentacles, which especially when we've come from that deeper understanding of self, this is the queen of pentacles is the energy of making decisions based upon the wise countenance of having the benefit of utilizing the experience that you have and not getting caught up and frustrated by I didn't get this or that out of it, but rather seeing it for what it is, seeing the, the lesson or the blessing in it. Uh, hindsight makes this easy, but this is what that energy shows. And then you become more self-sufficient, more independent. Whatever this is, totally an axe. It almost um, integrates in, if you would, because this is self-validation. And it's right on the other side of that, though, you've got this Five of Cups. That's the only stickler that I see is that it's the tendency to dwell in the negatives that's causing the self-doubt. Because the only thing that keeps you out of these energies is self-doubt. That's the only thing that's going to keep you out of this. So, advice from spirit. Four cups. Open your eyes. Anyway, one sentence. Give me a second. Six of swords. Three of pentacles. Open your eyes to the power and potential around you. And allow your life to stabilize naturally through the process of learning and growing and expanding things the way that you've always wanted to. Three of Pentacles, taking something, apprenticeship, learning something, taking something to the next. It, it's taking something to the next level, but it's something maybe we're not familiar with. It's expanding in a way that's probably uncomfortable. So move in that direction. We've got the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is where there's been turbulence. Things have been rough. Everything that comes before the Six of Swords, it means it, it generally means that you've been in rough waters. But you put all six of those swords, put what was valuable to you in the boat, and you traveled to a different place. This could mean moving from one place to another physically. Um alleviating stress in the process it would but it'd be a move of um residence it's not like a vacation because the four of cups you need to open your eyes and see what's behind you in this case you notice how the one cup is gleaming behind him i'll give you this shot here right above his head you got one cup that's just gleaming but he's like focused on the other cups and he's kind of like uh, he's just not there's no passion there there's no passion to drive it forward. So, time to stabilize and take your boat to calmer waters by, by learning, by expanding, by doing the things that, that scare you. Honestly, um, take the chance. You're starting a whole new cycle. Take the damn chance. The tower. What happens if you make this decision? Major changes. No kidding. Well, that's inevitable, I guess. The tower means that something in our life gets taken down to the foundation so a new foundation can be put in so that we can build something greater than upon it. Don't get caught up on the knockdown because the knockdown sometimes is not the easiest. The Six of Pentacles. It's going, as the change starts, the abundance starts to flow. Whatever you're lacking at the moment, it you there's that cause and effect that... that um momentum how we gain momentum we start to see the effects of what we're doing and as we see those effects whether it's we start making more money or we start um whatever you're doing whatever you're creating or attracting um you start to see benefits you start to see it look as though it's going your way as if if you would or you start to have those wins the Six of Pentacles, as those winds take place, allow it to flow, the overflow to, to go to other places. Overall, where we leave the reading is with the Ten of Swords, so it's a major release. You're going to be able to let go of something. 
which is really great because when the world card comes in at the this position in the reading you're still not out that door so the ten of swords means a major release is possible the, we we've held on to something probably a thought pattern the way we think our expectations create our reality let me say that again your expectations create more of your reality than anything what you expect in the people you attract in the jobs that you have your expectation walking through the door can literally alter other people's moods um most people just aren't conscious of it. If you expect someone to be a certain way, nine times out of ten, they are. Uh, ten of Swords, shift those perceptions. Be more open and watch the world shift and change in front of you. That is what I have for Fire Signs today. Thank you for following the readings. If you're interested in a personal version of this very reading, it's available at toad432.com. It's the only place you'll find my services. And it is called a, a quick question reading. So you can find that on the website. There is some other readings there that are a little more in depth. Thank you for joining. Like, subscribe, share all those wonderful things that help my algorithm. Comment, comment, comment. And I will see you in the next set of readings. Everything in life is a lesson and a blessing. And that is the, the most difficult task. Life is a game of control.